Looking for an all-inclusive resort that caters to all ages, from newborns all the way to grandparents? Then check out Beaches Nick Grill. From their certified nanny program, to the kids camp, to the water park, to the nightclub, to the all-included water sports, this resort truly offers something for every person in your family. In this video, I'll go over all of that, as well as the spa, the restaurants, the beach, the excursions, and the Sesame Street character interactions. So keep watching. Many thanks to Beaches Nick Grill for hosting us. Hey, welcome back to Top Flight Family. My name is Carmen Sinyovi, and I'm so excited to tell you all about our stay at Beaches Nick Grill. Prior to our stay at Beaches, we had visited another resort in Jamaica. So rather than heading from the Montego Bay Airport, we actually drove from Ocho Rios to Nick Grill. If you'd like all the details on what it was like to fly to Jamaica from New York, as well as the COVID-19 testing and visa requirements, check out our video from the previous resort, which I'll link down below. On our drive to the resort, we stopped by a couple of Jamaican beef patty spots, Tasty Patties and Juicy Patties. There is a deep rivalry between these two restaurant chains, and most locals have very strong feelings about which one they believe has the best beef patty in Jamaica. We actually made a whole video about this, including our own taste test, and I'm going to link that down below in case you'd like to check it out. If you're going straight to the resort after flying into Montego Bay Airport, you'll have access to the beach's private airport lounge located in the transportation hall. Obviously, since we didn't stop at the airport first, we were not able to experience the lounge, but it's essentially a nice space where you can enjoy some refreshments while you wait for your airport transfer. It's about a 90 minute drive to Beaches Negril, so it's a good idea to have a bite to eat at the airport before you leave or to pack some snacks to eat along the way. We arrived at the resort and because we were staying in the concierge suite, we checked in at the concierge lounge instead of the main front desk. While we were waiting for assistance from a representative, there was a special appearance from one of the Sesame Street characters, the Count. So fun. Beaches Negril offers a lot of different experiences with Sesame Street characters, which I'm going to tell you more about later in this video, but this was a really fun way for us to preview what was to come. If you're staying in a concierge suite, I highly recommend visiting the concierge lounge as early in your stay as possible. This is where you'll go to book dinner reservations, spa treatments, water sports, activities, and excursions. It's best to book all of this in one visit early on in your stay, that way you're all set and you'll have everything planned out for the rest of your trip. After we checked in, one of the concierge agents gave us a property orientation and then escorted us to our room. Whoa! Look at it! Oh my gosh, oh, so cute! It's better. Wow! Pretty! <laughs> it's beautiful, thank you. Wow. More snacks? It's all fruit. Oh, it's all fruit. <laughs> That's good. Cute. We stayed at a tropical beachfront walkout concierge two bedroom junior suite. If you'd like to see the full tour of the suite, I'll link our video down below. That evening, we had dinner at Soy, the sushi restaurant, and currently this restaurant is not taking reservations. One thing I definitely recommend though, if you want to make the most of your experience, is to get there right at 5.30 p.m. when the restaurant opens for dinner. That way you'll be able to snag a table in this gorgeous outdoor dining area. The indoor seating is nice too and has more of a fast casual feel, but if you're looking to have more of a special atmosphere, the outside dining area is really beautiful and it's definitely the way to go. Like I mentioned, you can't currently reserve this area, so you just have to get there early. After dinner, we went to Yo-Yo's, which is the self-service frozen yogurt shop. Flavors? Uh, pink lemonade. Ah. For Sean and Ella, yo-yos was probably their favorite part of the whole resort, and they went there daily if not multiple times per day. 
If your kids like frozen yogurt, ice cream, and candy toppings, they are going to enjoy the spot a lot. I got a $50 bill. It's oh. oh. Jamaican money. The Tooth Fairy has Jamaican money here. Mm, yeah. Tell us where the tooth lost. Show the camera. <laughs> Which one? Point at it. Oh, happened last night, right? I know that you did it. What? Yes, because I checked and then it wasn't there and then I heard I heard you go. <laughs> and then take my tooth. What are you talking about? I because I was like, That was what? the Jamaican tooth fairy. No, I heard the <laughs> and then the I don't know what, I don't know, Daddy, what you talking about? Because, but I checked last night. <laughs> well, and obviously she didn't come last night. It's not there. But yay! The money definitely came from the Jamaican Tooth Fairy and not from me and Serge. The next morning we had breakfast at the mill. The mill is the resort's buffet restaurant, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Due to COVID, it's not a self-service buffet at the moment, but the staff will dish the food for you so you still get to choose what you want. The mill has typical breakfast foods like omelets, oatmeal, fruit, and bakery items such as breads and croissants. And they also serve a variety of Jamaican dishes so you can sample the local cuisine. After breakfast, we spent the day at the resort's water park, Pirate Island. There's a lazy river, a plunge pool, toddler area, and a swim-up bar. At 18,000 square feet, your kids are gonna have a lot of fun here. One of the things that really sets the Beaches brand apart from other resort brands in the Caribbean is that they have an exclusive license with Sesame Street. So if your kids enjoy character meet and greets, they are going to love all of the experiences that Beaches offers. You can purchase VIP packages through their Caribbean Adventures with Sesame Street program, and these packages offer different fun interactions with the characters. For example, you can attend a character breakfast, throw a birthday party at the resort with a guest appearance from one of your favorite characters, and you can even have a Sesame Street character read you a bedtime story, sing you a lullaby, and then tuck you into bed. It offers some pretty cool opportunities, and we opted for the all-access photo session. This is essentially a 15-minute private photo shoot with all of the Sesame Street characters. The staff is really efficient at guiding you through different poses and they set up different groupings, like the whole family with all the characters, just the girls with the female characters, just the guys with the male characters, and so on. The staff also did a great job with enforcing COVID safety. All of the characters stay six feet apart from guests and from one another, so it's still a very safe experience. One thing you should know is that because of COVID, you can't make physical contact with any of the characters right now. So if your kid loves giving hugs, for example, you may want to explain to them ahead of time that unfortunately, Cookie Monster is not giving hugs right now because of coronavirus. And just let them know that they're still able to engage with the characters, but just in a socially distanced way. As part of the photo shoot, you get one eight x 10 print, but you can order additional photos or prints at the resort's photo studio, the Snapshot Store. One thing to note is that these VIP packages are not part of your all-inclusive stay, so if you'd like to see the prices, just go to the Beaches website. Right now at Beaches and Grill, there are four restaurants that require reservations. There's the Venetian, which is their Northern Italian restaurant. There's Stewfish, which is their Caribbean seafood restaurant. Mariachi, which is the Tex-Mex restaurant. And Kimono's, which is the Japanese hibachi restaurant. Kimono's is where we ate that evening, and Serge and I happened to be celebrating our anniversary, so we splurged on some bubbly. By the way, if you're new to this channel, we're the Sinyovi family and we work full-time as travel creators. We're all about inspiring families to explore the world together in comfort and style. We share tips on how you can save time, reduce hassle, and maximize comfort when you travel with kids. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. 
Our family has set a goal of visiting 21 resorts in 2021, and Beaches n a g r i l l is the third one on the list. Why resorts? Well, we actually have a whole video that explains that, which I'll link down below. I'll also link to our 21 resorts in 2021 playlist so you can check out all the other properties we'll be visiting. The next morning, we woke up excited for the character breakfast, which was located at Mariachi, the Tex-Mex restaurant. The theme of the breakfast was Elmo's birthday celebration, so the tables were set like a child's birthday party, complete with noisemakers, party hats, and gift bags. Even with the social distancing measures and characters staying six feet apart, it was really fun and engaging, so if your kids like Sesame Street, I definitely recommend this experience. One area where Beaches n a g r i l l really shines is through their kids' programming. They accommodate children from infants all the way up to age 17. And when I say infants, I mean that they even take newborns, which is almost unheard of in the travel and hospitality industry. For tweens and teens, there's a lounge called Trench Town, which is a hangout for their age group. Tweens and teens also have access to Club Liquid, which is actually the adults' nightclub from 11pm to 2am, but earlier in the night, from 9pm to 11pm, Club Liquid opens exclusively for tweens and teens to dance and enjoy the DJ. No adults are allowed into the space during that time, and of course, no alcohol is served either. There's the Xbox Play Lounge, which is the resort's video arcade for the gamers and the family. <laughs> and they also have the Beaches Kids Camp. This is a little different than the traditional kids club. At the kids camp, the staff holds outdoor activities all over the property rather than in just one spot. When you arrive at the kids camp, the children are split up into separate rooms by age groups and then they're taken to different locations around the resort for their activities. These rooms are also used for rainy days when they're unable to do the scheduled activities outdoors. Most resort kids clubs take kids aged 4 and up, but Beaches is one of the few resorts that takes infants and toddlers, even newborns. There's a specific room set up with cribs and high chairs, which is pretty unique in the resort industry. All the staff at the kids camp are members of the International Nanny Association, and on top of that, they are all certified to work with children who have autism. That includes the nannies and babysitters that you can hire at an additional fee. Beaches definitely has a good reputation in the travel industry for the way they work with kids who have autism. In addition to the staff having certifications, the resort also features a Sesame Street character who has autism. Her name is Julia, and she's one of the characters that you can set up a meet and greet with. One thing to know about the kids camp is that currently because of COVID, the facilities close for a little while at midday so that the rooms can be thoroughly cleaned and sanitized before the afternoon sessions. So just make sure you know what time you'll need to pick up your kids and build this into your schedule. What's your girl? A d i e This is literally perfect for me. It's so cute. The l o s e has d o n So that was your gift? Yeah. Your, your prize? Was it for anything in particular? Or yeah, because yeah. we... Um, While the girls were at the kids' camp, Serge and I went to check out the Red Lane Spa. The spa is located in a standalone building and it has a very homey feel. We booked the Sense of Love Couples Massage and for the massage they used soy-based candles that turn into massage oils as they melt. You get to choose between three scents, fever grass, island essence, and sea breeze. When we got to the treatment room, the therapist guided us through a romantic candle lighting ceremony and then we settled in for our massage. The candle lighting ceremony was really sweet and it would be perfect for couples celebrating weddings, honeymoons, or anniversaries. After the massage, the staff brought out some champagne and we laid back for a bit in their relaxation lounge. Cheers. There are a lot of great excursions that you can book through beaches, but one attraction you really can't miss if you're in the grill is Rick's Cafe. It's only a 15 minute drive from the resort and it's one of Jamaica's most popular attractions. It's been around since 1974, and that's when Richard, or Rick, Hirschman bought this cliffside property. At that time, back in 1974, n a g r i l l was just a sleepy fishing village where electricity and even running water were scarce. But shortly after opening, Rick's Cafe became a hot spot on the island. And one of the big reasons for its popularity is that it has possibly the best sunset views anywhere in Jamaica. You can truly enjoy a continuous, uninterrupted view of the sun setting over the ocean here. 
There's a swimming pool, there's food, there's drinks, there's a DJ. But the big draw at Rick's Cafe is definitely the cliff jumping. If you're brave, the highest cliff you can jump from is 35 feet high. But there are also a few lower points you can jump from, like 25 feet and 10 feet. If you plan to jump off the cliffs or swim in the pool, definitely bring a swimsuit and a towel with you. But keep in mind that cliff diving is a very risky activity that can result in injury or even death, so it's definitely something you should be doing at your own risk. Even if you don't participate in cliff jumping, it's really fun to hang out and watch the other guests jump. And it's even better to watch the lifeguards working at Rick's Cafe do the cliff diving since they're professionals. There's one platform that is 80 feet high. Guests are understandably not allowed on this platform, but occasionally the lifeguards will demonstrate jumps from that height, and it's pretty spectacular to see. One of the lifeguards actually offered to take our GoPro up with him in exchange for a $20 tip. Jumping from that height is dangerous enough, but it wasn't until we saw the footage that we realized how dangerous it was for him to even get up to that platform. girls had a lot of fun playing in the pool, and they had great views of all the cliff divers from there. Wow, <laughs> are you a travel vlogger? Yes, I am. So, fans, we're going to be going on a glass bottom boat, which means that the bottom of the boat is glass, which means that, like, you can see the Oh fishies. my god, you're not even... <laughs> Um, can you be quiet? Just because I don't have three Your cameras, cameras not even on. Just because I don't have three cameras on my phone doesn't mean anything. And some of them don't even work. <laughs> some of them don't work. Yeah, literally. No, literally. They work like, one at a time, bro. Why are you making fun of the iPhone 12? Because <laughs> I can't. At most all-inclusive resorts, non-motorized water sports like stand-up paddleboarding or windsurfing is included in your stay. But one thing that really sets beaches apart from other all-inclusives is that all water sports are included for free. Even activities like snorkeling or scuba diving that most properties would charge a premium for. As long as you're already PADI certified, you can go diving up to two times per day. And if you're not PADI certified yet, you can get your PADI certification at beaches for an extra fee. We booked a glass bottom boat tour and it was a lot of fun to get out on the water and see marine life like starfish, lionfish, and even some sunken vessels. Then it was time for a beach day. Beaches Negril is located on the Seven Mile Beach, which is arguably Jamaica's most famous and beautiful beach. We rented a cabana for the day, and it was a really nice setup. The beach cabana itself is essentially a covered king-sized bed, and it's accompanied by four lounge chairs and a picnic table, which makes eating much easier when it's time for lunch. They provide you with a cooler that's pre-stocked with water, sodas, beers, and of course the cabana concierge comes by to take orders for food or other drinks. Now, one thing to know is that this is a public beach, which means that there are quite a lot of vendors walking around selling their wares, so be prepared to be sold to, because it's probably going to happen. But the resort stations quite a few security guards along the beach to keep an eye on things and make sure that the guests don't get hassled too much. The guards are also really good about reminding vendors to stay socially distanced from the guests that they are talking to. We had a nice moment with this musician, who was playing a few songs on the beach near us. The girls went to give him a tip, and after that he gave them some hand sanitizer, and then handed them some maracas so that they could be part of the show. It was really cute.
and she's now she's coughing. <laughs> she can't get on. Flipping over. No floaties. We'll go floaty list. Okay, it's definitely not me. <laughs> it's it's definitely not me, it's the tube. We had dinner that night at the Venetian, which is the northern Italian restaurant, and then we went to check out the night show at the Big Top Amphitheater. Okay, I just have to give a shout out to the entertainment staff at Beaches Negril. They're known as the Playmakers, and these are some of the hardest working, most energetic young people we have ever met. After spending the whole day out in the sun facilitating games like red light, green light, or egg spoot races with the kids, and performing dances poolside, and, to put it in Disney speak, being quote unquote friends with the Sesame Street characters, they finish their day by getting glammed up to perform in the night show too. I really trust my senses, catch me if I fall, so done with second guess, and you seem to have it all, in love enough for anything emotional to soon, you got my invitation now the after their performances, they put on a family game show, and this was a lot of fun. They chose four parents from the audience, and each parent brought up one of their kids to play How Well Do You Know Your Child? It began with the parents being escorted out of earshot, and then they asked the kids a few questions in front of the audience, like, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite color? What do you want to be when you grow up? Then the parents were brought back to the stage and asked to answer the same questions about their own child. For each wrong answer the parents gave, they had to... Take a shot. <laughs> Unfortunately, Serge failed miserably at guessing Sean's answers, so he ended up taking a lot of shots. In his defense though, Sean is a kid who enjoys a lot of different things and she changes her mind pretty often. Also, she has like a hundred different career aspirations. So considering all that, Serge did pretty good. <laughs> Pricing for this resort can vary a lot, depending on what type of accommodations you're booking, how many people there are at your party, and of course, what time of year you're going. So I always recommend that you start your planning process by going directly to the resort's website and plugging in some dates to see what the price ranges are looking like. You can either book directly with the property, or if there's a travel advisor or travel agent you already work with, they can help too. Now let's talk about COVID safety at Beaches Negril. Beaches has a triple check cleaning system for suites and bathrooms, and they provide informational material in your room that walks you through exactly how the housekeeping team is keeping everything sanitized. As you check into the resort, every guest has their temperatures checked, and you have to apply hand sanitizer before you enter the premises. You're also given an antibacterial hand towel. Every room comes with a sanitation kit, which includes hand sanitizers and wipes. The staff members wear masks at all times, and guests are required to wear masks while they're in public indoor spaces. Guests also have to sanitize their hands before entering all restaurants, and all of the eateries have QR codes so you don't have to handle any physical menus. Beaches provides on-site COVID testing, and both the rapid tests and the PCR tests are done completely free of charge. This is great because many other resorts offer free rapid tests, but they charge extra for the PCR test. This is great news for our Canadian friends, since Canada requires a PCR test in order to return, whereas the US only needs the rapid test. One thing I do recommend is to double check that your name and date of birth is written correctly on your test results, because if there are any discrepancies, you could have an issue at the airport. For us, the check-in process at the airport was really smooth. Beaches gave us printouts of our negative rapid test results, so we showed those as well as our passports to the JetBlue representatives, and we had absolutely no issues. There's a company called VIP Attractions that offers VIP services at both the Kingston Airport and the Montego Bay Airport, which is where we flew out of. They escort you to an expedited security line so that you can get through much faster, and you also get access to their airport lounge. The Montego Bay Airport wasn't very busy when we were there, so I wouldn't necessarily say that this type of VIP service is a must-do right now. We did it on this trip mostly because I wanted to capture some updated footage for future travel tip videos that we have planned. The Club Mo Bay Lounge is not super luxe, but it's a nice place to wait for your flight in a socially distanced space with free food and drink instead of in the main airport terminal. You can also access this lounge if you have a Priority Pass membership. If you'd like to learn about Priority Pass membership, airport lounges, and why they're so useful when traveling with kids, check out our video on the topic that I'm gonna link down below. Okay, that was resort number three of the 21 resorts we are visiting in 2021. If you'd like to check out resort number four, just click that video right there. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications, and follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Top Flight Family. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.